Welcome, welcome, 2,000 welcomes to PB Live. Today is Wednesday, March the 9th, 2011. Opening the show today was Class A NCPA team, Ridiker's Paintball. You can find them on YouTube. PB Live is a PG-13 show and does contain some explicit material. Our weekly broadcast is brought to you in part by ActionAcresPB.com, perfect for groups, corporate parties, and scenario events. Located in Canby, Oregon, between the beautiful city of Salem and crappy Portland, Oregon. Our hotline is provided by the BunkerPB.com hotline, military surplus, paintball gear, and more. Well, that doesn't sound good. First up, Fuzzy was out this weekend at the West Coast Paintball Series. You can start to see videos next week on this. Here are the results for event number one. And the novice division place went to Notorious. Second place went to NW Devastation. Third place went to Seattle Swagger. In the rookie division, first place went to Notorious Gold. Second place went to Debauch. Third place went to Jungle Cat Bandits. And in the beginner division, first place was Sanction A. Second place, Sanction B. And third place was DBS Gunners. And the news we've all been waiting for in the pump division, first place was Team APC. Second place was P-Town Pumpers Green. And third was Revolution. The next West Coast Paintball Series event will be held May 14th in Tualatin, Oregon, with Uprising Refing. For complete information, go to the WestCoastPBSeries.com website or email our very own Fuzzy at pblive.tv. First up from our mailbox, you can submit any paintball related news simply email info at pblive.tv. Paintball X3 is pleased to announce its latest creation, the Paintball X3 Social, the first paintball social website that ties a paintball magazine, portal, branded social media, and Facebook all together in one simple to use, easy to sign up package. Some of the features are you can sign in with your Facebook login, username, and password, or create a new X3 social account. You can import with just one click your Facebook status and preferences. You can add friends. You can like and comment on feeds, photos, videos, groups, just like on Facebook. You can create groups, events, upload photos, videos, and more. A chat with whoever's online option is available. With one click, you can be directed to PayPal X3's tournament, scenario, and gear coverage and articles. You can also view the activity stream without even logging in. So check it out. Sign in and get connected. PaintballX3.com Talk to Andy this week. There's only seven seats left for the historic flight this summer at Oklahoma D-Day. You can share a flight with author and famed World War II 101st Airborne veteran Jake McNeese. The date of the flight will be June 10th, 2011 from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The location will be at the Grove, Oklahoma Airport. And the price is only 150 frog skins per person. For more details and seat reservations, give them a call at area code 407-563-3884. Our friends of Paintball Live Scarecrow and Wrong Way from the 325th Glider Infantry have already purchased their tickets and they've agreed to wear helmet cameras for us and give us a view of the flight. It's going to be interesting. First up, from the cat himself on the third, a field designer app from Ant Apps. Custom fields, create custom field design in minutes using bunkers from any professional league. There's a mirror function, which is half the design time, literally. There's tactics, you can mark on shooting lanes, highlight players, positions, or breakout paths with the touch of your finger. There's some notes, if the Dorito Bunker 1 has a great shot on the second snake knuckle, you'd be crazy not to add a note. There's strategy saving time. If you've got an idea for a killer game plan, save that strategy to show your, time mate, your teammates. You can shake it. Made a mistake on the tactics? Shake once to delete your tactics. Shake twice to start fresh. And it's future proof. Annual bunker updates providing compatibility year after year. It's pretty affordable starting at around $6.99. That's $6.99. The field designer is available for purchase now via the iTunes store. So check it out at ant-apps.com. Full Clip has teamed up with a Pirates Paradise Paintball Complex in Southern Nevada. 
Empire and RPS join up with the USXL in 2011, says Cryptic on the 3rd. The USXL will host four events at Paintball Adventure Park and Tiny Town MD, a race to seven format for D2 and D through D4 teams and a race to two format for five man and three man teams. There will be prizes at each event as well as year end series champions prizes. The USXL will exclusively shoot RPS paint for each event. Finally, the teams have a players league that's run by players. PSP field layout for event number one in Galveston is up. For more information, you can read the full article at catcheckreports.com or you can visit them on their website at pspevents.com. On the fourth, Cryptic introduced the 2011 Vicious Series. The Vicious Series exists to provide players with the absolute pinnacle of tournament paintball at the regional level in the central part of the United States at an affordable price. For 2011, the Vicious Series is proud to present the premier division for the elite teams in the central U.S. to compete in. Here's the schedule for event number one. It's May 14th through the 15th. It's going to be held at CJ's Paintball in New Hampshire. Event number two is June 11th and 12th. Held at Metro Paintball Games in Council Bluffs, Indiana. Event number three is July 30th and 31st at Mad Cow Paintball in Louisville. Registration for the 2011 Vicious Series will be open via the American Paintball Players Association on Tuesday, March 16th. I could not find any rates, so I invite you to read the entire article at catcheckreports.com. This was posted on the 4th by Cryptic, or you can check out their website, Vicious Series. Com. You can also give them a call at 402-502-3434. Oops, wrong mouse. Too many computers. This is awesome news. Oh my lords of cobalt. The best present that I ever got was a bottle of this stuff. It's about three years ago. My good buddy Slick gave it to me and all of his kids. This shit is better than baby powder. I'm telling you guys, from one fat guy to another, you skinny bitches that got nothing to worry about. But us guys got a little bit of lumps, you need monkey butt. This is awesome stuff. Cryptic, Cryptic brought this to you guys on the 4th at the Cat Shack Reports. The PSP is partnering up with a product to help you stave off the dreaded lower rear area rash. The hot spots you can get from running around in the heat all day while shooting it up with friends and foes. Ever suffered from the dreaded condition known as monkey butt? Want to prevent monkey butt the next time you compete? Try anti-monkey butt powder. It absorbs sweat and reduces friction, skin irritation. It's formulated with talcum and calamine. Works fast to keep your skin dry and comfortable so you can compete and be at your best. Don't let the heat rash and chafing slow you down. Look in your team pack for free samples. Man, makes you want to go just to get the free samples. It will also be available at upcoming PSP events. Tom paused his favorite episode of Magna P.I. to post this up on the 5th. In short, the Paintball Training Institute goes above and beyond to train individuals in the art of airsmithing. Speaking of airsmithing, don't forget that we're going to be watching Kelsey's first segment this week at various levels and provides a technical know-how to properly service various paintball markers. It's a really great article. You guys should read the whole thing when you get a chance. To learn more about paintball Training Institute, or to register for an airsmithing program, please visit them at paintballairtraining.com. Remember, you can get the full article posted up on the 5th by the cat himself. Cryptic reported on the 5th that St. Louis Avalanche will play the 2011 season with Vanguard Creed and Demon Guns. I know somebody who's getting a Vanguard as a present. Fans is looking for some teams to sponsor and represent their fans' product. The complete fan kit for your mask. Contact fans to see what they can do to sponsor you. They're offering you a fans kit, single or double, below wholesale cost. $10 flat rate shipping cost for the entire team, stickers and business cards to pass around, and free t-shirt for the captain. What they're looking for are team pictures with masks that have the fans to post on their website. Pictures of setups in masks, action picker where mask is shown with the fans, Short review of their product posted on their website, a fan's banner on the team website or forum. Their requirements are at least five members in the team. you got to have a team website 
and you absolutely have to have a positive attitude. They ask you to contact them for an application, but I didn't find any contact information on the Cat Shack. Go to catshackreports.com and shoot them a note. They can hook you up. Max Kids opened up their 2011 season last weekend playing Division II in RPL event number one in Southern California. The competition was stiff, and the team came up just short of what would have been miraculous, says Dan Smith. A first place finish at the first Division II tournament, bumping up from Division IV last season. The squad made it to the finals but couldn't quite get over the hump and ended up taking second place. First place would have been great, says Dan, but we are all still pleased with second place to open up a new season in a higher division. Next up is the NPPO Huntington Beach to start in April, followed by the season opener of the D-League to end April off. Both are seven-man events. They'll be playing in Division Two in all three leagues all season long. Tom posted this up on the 8th at the Cat Check Reports. Dot com. There's a lot more articles, but we just don't have time for them all this week, so be sure to stop by at catcheckreports.com. For interviews and more, visit Tom. What you don't know... Forget it. That was funny. i got to change that line. Catcheckreports.com. <laughs> First up from Bottles Cafe, BC posted this on the 4th. Planet Eclipse has the 2011 catalog online for you nerds. You can now download it directly from the Planet Eclipse download site. They also have hard copies winging themselves around the world as you're hearing this. Be warned that some of the items are not due to hit the stores until the end of May, June, this year. The official opening of the new Camp Pelton Paintball Park is this Saturday, March the 12th. Games start at about 8.30 in the morning. Be sure to check them out, thepaintballpark.com. Today, BC posted this up, the results for event number one of the RPL, which was held in Lake Elsinore at the beautiful Jungle Island. The two-day tournament had over 40 teams competing. In Division One, first up was UXP Tombstone. Second, as you heard, was Max Kids. Third was Marine Team. For Division Three, first place went to Vegas Aces. Second was Good for Nothing. Third, Urban Saints. And Division 4, first place, was taken by Golden State Knights. The Blue Knights took second, and third was Onslaught. The next RPL event will be held June 18th and 19th in Oceanside at the Camp Pendleton Tournament Park. For more information or to register, go to the RPL.com. For the complete articles, form and more, follow Junior Brown and his team on the web at BallersCafe.com. While the Middle East is in a little political turmoil... Those that play paintball in the region are still hard at it. The Iran National Paintball League is one of the biggest in the region, and with the completion of the Palm Center Paintball Facility last year in Tehran, there is certainly no lack of professional tournament or rec ball facilities in the country. The INPL has produced some of the best tournament paintball teams in the region, including World Cup Asia champions Datis. The following is the overall season standings of the Iran National Paintball League. In Division 1, Dottis took first place. The Persian Division took second. The Iranian Swelt tied for third place. In Division 2, Persian Legion Tao took first place. Jubin took third place.
forward, you can find Grant and his crew on the web at PayPalNews.asia. Coming up this week on the Forward Park, Sheen Hot Magazine has its own gallery now for events that the Forward Park covers. And some sad news, the owner of Gold Cup PayPal passed away this last week. Search the web for the top news, click the mouse to read the articles, burning too many calories for you. Don't get it. The full report is a condensed weekly newsletter that is conveniently sent to your mailbox every Thursday. Find out more the full report. That's it for the news today. People Live is a now public park internet broadcasting corporation of Oregon. This weekly broadcast is made possible by volunteers, ad sales, and your generous donations. You can donate the people by sending the fox kids at pblive.tv. One can use one of our fundraiser widgets on our homepage, pblive.tv. If you're uncomfortable with the net, you can send money orders or checks to our corporate mailbox, pblive Inc. 3760, Market Street Northeast, Street 171. Beautiful city of Salem, Oregon, 973. This newscast is produced by A.J. Marcus with help from Tom Tom Cat Cunningham, BossCafe.com, Grant from PayPalNews.Asia, Dale from the Fogger Park, and your submissions. Come up next, if you replied to the catch-up simple questions, you could have won just like Justin Hoffman. Check it out from social paper.